Hey friends, it is Sunday and I thought I would show you guys all the swag that I got at the con. Um, forgive my day three, or I guess day four, face. Um, so the first thing is you always get these giant bags and I dug through to make sure I got the Suicide Squad one. I'm not like excited about the movie so much as I am like in love with the general aesthetic. I think it's gonna be good actually and I know that's like kind of like not a thing real nerds think but uh, whatever, fake, uh, fake uh, nerd girl, that's fine. So I got the Suicide Squad one. These bags are really good for moving. Like if you need to move house, get one of these Comic Con bags. You can put so much stuff in it that doesn't fit in boxes. I'm just kind of going in random order here because I have just like a pile of stuff. Uh, I got this Nerdist lanyard from the um, Nerdist thing this year. I have the same one in yellow, but now I have it in black and red. I got a magnet from the Buy Stories Project, which this was really important to me because I saw the word, come on camera, come on camera, focus. I saw the word bi and I went running because you guys might know this, I'm bi, bisexual representation is really important to me and this is a project all about sharing your story with being bi, coming out, how it affects your professional, interpersonal life, so really cool, check that out. Uh, we went to the Archer panel, we got these t-shirts, um, uh, I'm actually excited because the new season takes place in the 1920s, it's like a weird dream sequence. But uh, really soft. I like the color. I'll probably just wear it as a sleep shirt. If you found the Sanrio people, they were giving out these tiny patches. So I got a Hello Kitty and a Chocolate Cat. Um, I wanted to find them more. Didn't happen. Whatever. I got two. They're cute. So we went to the Adult Swim on the Green Rick and Morty event. And I didn't actually get this. My friend Mary, um, her dad got an extra and he didn't want it. So I got it. And Mary's great. Thank you so much, Mary. Um, but it's a glow-in-the-dark Rick and Morty bag, which is really cool. Like, I love this bag so much. I love the design on it. And I love that it glows. And then inside the bag is this ridiculous Morty hat, which, hold on, I'm gonna put it on. Oh God, this is so dumb. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, but they did, the, there's also Rick hats, and then they also just put like these yellow t-shirts, so it's basically like a Morty costume in the bag, and they took a picture, it's really stupid. But um, I really mostly wanted the bag, but this is also amazing. <laughs> One of my favorite um, book companies is Quirk Books. And so I bought a book from them and they gave me this uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Pe Peculiar Children um, bag. That that's turning into a movie, that's cool. I haven't read the book yet. I have it, I haven't read it. And the book I got is Sam Mag's new book. She did uh, Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy and this is called Wonder Women, which is 25 innovators, inventors, and trailblazers who change history. And it's just, I've been really excited for this because it's all about um, like really cool women that did cool cool stuff that you don't always hear about and it's got some illustrations in it It's really cool. I'm excited to read this on the plane. The next I got this Rocky Horror Picture Show hat for the Fox reboot that they're doing the new movie. It's a made-for-tv movie It's like a trucker hat um, I actually really like it <laughs> um, But I'm excited because we saw the first 25 minutes of it at the panel and it was super good like I'm so excited. Laverne Cox is great. And they were doing like a lip transformation station and uh, I got the hat from that. A couple things from some indie artists. Um, I'll try to link them in the description to, so that you can check their stuff out too. Uh, first I got Opening Case of Emergency, which is this uh, little indie comic about someone's experience. Uh, the author is Mary Golding um, and it's all about her experience in a psychiatric hospital. I'm really excited to read it. Um, it should be kind of like emotional, but I'm kind of down for that. Um, and then at her table, so I don't know, she's not the illustrator for all of these, but they're all really cool. Um, got this sticker that says, I want, uh, I want all of the cats to love me the best, which is my MO. <laughs> um, you ain't my dad, dagger sticker, this is for a friend of mine. Uh, and care for your spirit, very vegan. And then I also got this patch that's, uh, Chub Rug Club, which I'm gonna put this on my magical girl vest. <laughs> I got this cute, hey Liz, you're in my video. <laughs> So then I got this pin from Tuesday ba Bassin. Tuesday Bassin. Uh, she recently got a bunch of her design stolen by a really big chain, Zara. So I was like, I gotta buy her stuff. It's this little pin that says Mixed Emotions Club. Really cute. Gonna put it on my vest. Love it. And then I don't remember the artist who did this one, but I'll try to put it in the description. But it's just a little Sailor Moon print. Her being really cute. I have a magical girl wall in my office now, so gotta add that to it. Some more indie stuff, let's see. Oh wait, well this one's not indie. The Overwatch panel. They gave us a physical version of the Ana comic that is currently up, it's called Legacy. 
uh, if you're not into Overwatch, they do a lot of transmedia storytelling, so they have like uh, cartoons or like animated shorts and then comics that are done through like a motion comics engine that's really cool, so it's like, it's kind of like animated as well. Um, but it's really cool because the lore of the story is, is, is huge and they're going to do a graphic novel too that's completely a new story, so uh, I thought it was really cool to have a physical version. I also went to the Brian Lee O'Malley signing where I got this, uh, it's not really a print because it's like poster board, it's like really fancy, but it's for his new um, project called Worst World which is going to be a comic trilogy. And I've been really excited because he's been drawing this character and a couple of these other ones, but mostly this main character here. He's been drawing her in his sketchbooks for like a couple of years now and every time he posts a sketch I'm like, I want to know her story! So I'm really excited about this one and I got it signed which was really cool. Also at the uh, Brian Lee O'Malley signing I got him to sign my Snot Girl, which is his new uh, ongoing um, series. He is the writer and not the illustrator, which is different than usual. Um, and the illustrator is named, I think it's Leslie, Leslie Hung and she's really pretty. I've seen her Instagram and she draws really well. And this is the convention exclusive, but I kind of want to buy all the covers because they're all beautiful. Um, it's about a girl who's a fashion blogger and social media addict and kind of like uh, her story. I don't really know much more. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited. But yeah, it's real pretty. I wish I'd gotten Leslie to sign it. That's okay. Got Brian's signature on it. And the last uh, indie stuff I got, um, this gate. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I love you. I'm making your video more entertaining. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Got this Gay is Okay comic from Ashley R. Guillory, um, which is really cool. It's just her personal story with realizing her sexuality, and I love personal narrative comics. I'm really excited to read that one. And I also got this one. It's just like stories of dads, like gay dads and their kids. And um, uh, I have a feeling this one's going to like warm my heart. Poster of. Uh, Marie Curie, who, uh, what did she invent? Uh, radioactivity research, and she won Nobel Prizes, and she discovered two elements and stuff. She's really cool. I've heard cool stuff about her. And, um, this is for the book Women in Science, uh, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignofsky. Um, and she actually signed it. What's up, Liz? This is my disapproval face of your knowledge of Marie Curie. I forgot! <laughs> I know she's cool. This is why we need this book. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, but yeah, we saw this poster and we were looking at it and then she was right there and she's like, do you want me to sign it? And we're like, oh shit, we can talk to you about this. <laughs> I think that's finally everything. It's hard to say. You get so much stuff. That's so stupid. It's so dumb. In front of my friends, <laughs> my real friends.